What's up everybody? Namaste G, how's everybody doing today? Welcome to another one of uh, Ronnie's regular vlogs and uh, here we are high up in Manali and as you can see behind me winter is just kicking in we had a bit of snow a couple of weeks back and uh, there's gonna be more snow in the coming two weeks but in between we have these few sunny days and uh, I thought uh, it's a great idea to go up hiking today and uh, we don't really have an agenda as such we just uh, wanted to go out and about before you know make the most of uh, this beautiful day that we have before the real winter kicks in aimless walking that's what we're going to be doing today <sighs> all right you know this year we didn't get a chance to go hiking about in the summer as much as we would have liked to and uh, the month of December is so boring in Manali, you know, it can get really, really depressing because there are no tourists around, it's completely off season. None of our friends are over here, everybody's out and about in the cities. And uh, it would be a crime to waste such a beautiful day sitting inside, you know. So we found this nice little forest over here, we're going to start climbing. And uh, with no real agenda as such, it's time to zone in, guys, because winter is coming. A lot of the times I get asked this question on the comment section is you know about the wildlife in these areas like how safe is it? Man like I've heard crazy stories <laughs> every year we hear about bear attacks and uh, all these woods have a ton of bears in them and uh, I don't know so much about wolves although when I was younger people used to say there were a lot of wolves Is it safe? Well it's safe I would say that if you are alone and unfamiliar with these places yeah uh, don't walk around alone True. or if you do want to walk around alone play some loud music or sing really loudly so that the animals are aware of your presence in all my years of hiking around in these woods i have never encountered a bear let's see hope we don't encounter one today or hope we do so we can show it to you let's see <laughs> even better <laughs> buddy what do we say to God of Death? Huh? Not today! <laughs> hey, focus, focus, focus. I'm looking good. Ready I, to go. I don't think the shot is going to look good from there, Ronnie. Well, a lion doesn't concern himself with opinion of sheep. Oish, that was hard, that was hard. Uh, everything's better with some wine in the belly. Mm -hmm. What are you on about? <laughs> Game of Thrones. I'm listening to it. Why do you think we like this so much? You mean hiking? Just strolling around in the yeah. woods? Uh, so many reasons, man. To clear your mind, to unclear your mind. There's nothing much to see. Like, you know, the, the, the trees, there's, there's the grass, there's rocks, there's wood. And... Uh, that's about it, like you know, and there's no other distractions. So you can like completely zone yourself out. And at the same time you're exercising, you know, so the blood's pumping. It's very nice, yeah. I love hiking. I love walking around here. To me it's almost like meditative, you know. You're just like watching your feet 
one step after the other after the other after the other and you just kind of at least for me i go into this kind of zone which i find very difficult like i find it very tough to sit down and meditate but i find this like just walking without any plan without any agenda like it just helps you like you said like it helps you gather your th- thoughts but at the same time it also helps you completely eliminate them and be in that moment true and you know like you're watching your breath you're watching your step you're here first of all just look around you like yeah. meaning what more could you ask for right keep it going what come no way just jump here guys if you guys haven't noticed <laughs> i've had my headphones on all this while cuz i'm listening to an audiobook for the very first time in my life <laughs> i have to tell you guys this man my relationship with books i've never been able to read a book like i've read books in school like hardy boys and goosebumps and stuff you know but i just don't have the patience for it yeah. i don't know why and just a couple of weeks back i downloaded this new app and it's called storytell and uh, i downloaded game of thrones cuz i wanted to listen to something that i was already familiar with and uh, it's really interesting guys this narration happening in a years while you're walking in the forest and you have so many different uh, characters in game of thrones of course and this narrator is doing all the different characters in different accents it's just so fun and mo- so interesting so one of the most interesting features i like about this app storytell is uh, the offline features you can save a number of books offline and read it whenever you want even if you don't have any cell reception so for people like us who are always like uh, you know driving to really remote areas or hiking you know uh, or even in zanskar man i wish i had this app in zanskar i could have easily stored a number of books had entertainment for myself like you know throughout the trip audio books guys it's such a great way to improve uh, your command over a language like you know things like pronunciation enunciation small little nuances you know vocabulary just read a bunch of audio books every day man i'm sorry just listen to a bunch of audio books every day and uh, i'm sure you will improve like in a couple of months time and there's so many different kinds of people like you know people who uh, uh, who may not be able to read a language perfectly but uh, they can uh, understand it and they can speak it fluently you know for those people i think it's this app is great because you have so many different languages in this i think about four to five different languages you got hindi urdu uh, marathi 
so yeah guys i would really really recommend this app to you guys storytell it's called and uh, it's available both on android and ios and i will leave a link in the, the description below please use that link and you guys will get a 30 day free trial period uh, i think it's an amazing amazing way to consume books uh, you know in the 21st century <laughs> you are my favorite place to go Yeah, the end of my favorite bro. Oh, Bati, check these out. What? These are there's so many of them. Oh, these guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are called cicadas, man. They chirp like crickets, huh. but uh, they don't look like crickets. Look at them. These are actually the exoskeletons. Eat it. No chance. Eat it. I don't want to try the face, dude. I want to try the leg. Yeah, you know, I want to try this. Yeah. There's no taste. There's no taste at all. No, nothing. It's just like you know when you deep fry prawns and then you have the shell of the prawn. It's yeah. tasteless but crunchy. It's like that. We're not having enough. Try. Yeah, give me like a big one. <laughs> yeah. uh, let's find the real insect. Then we'll cook it. <laughs> you want to eat the real thing? I want a real thing. I want to eat the real thing. <laughs> you tired? Hungry? Hungry. Okay then, hungry. let's go to that flat area over there. Yeah. We'll Come. go eat some lunch. Let's do it. Let's do it. You are my favorite. All right, guys. So here we are. Found uh, a nice little spot and uh, just lit a small little fire just to heat up our mutton chaba clays. If you don't know what that is, it's basically just deep fried momos but big like this huge size. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this small little hike with us and. Uh, What else, Bati? Thank you. See you next time, guys. <laughs> See you next time, guys. See you next time.